Hello and welcome to this demonstration. Uh, in today's demonstration I will show you how you can get going with the spatial features that is now included in all Oracle database licenses. And this is something that newly got included in December of 2019 and everybody that has an Oracle database they can go ahead and use both spatial features as well as gra graph features and I will in today's demo show how you can get going and use these spatial functions. Perhaps you are a DBA or you have some SQL uh, knowledge or background and you want to start using these algorithms. So I will show Oracle Spatial Studio, which is a new product that was released last summer, the summer of 2019. And it's a no code environment and a platform that runs on the database uh, where you can visualize and s do spatial analysis on your uh, geometries and your data sets. So in this scenario there is a storm rolling over Sweden and this is not so far-fetched if uh, some of you have heard I think about Ciara that rolled in a week ago from this recording and this can create uh, big damages to infrastructure. It could be electrical networks uh, as well as road and railway. In this case I have an electrical network over Sweden and I have a forecast from uh, official, official weather site in Sweden, SMHI, and I also have uh, some dots with wind speed that I integrated. So this is a sub part of a bigger demo that I did and I have already filtered out the, the gusts in this case that are above 23 meter per second and could cause damage to our electrical network in this case. So what I want to find out in this case is which part of my power lines could be under risk uh, to further make an assessment of how many of my customers that could be at potential risk of outages. So we want to do a spatial analysis on our, uh, our power lines, so we'll go ahead and do that. And then you can see visually all the different algorithms and functions that are now available. So you can filter on geometries. You can combine geometries, you can transform geometries, and you can also measure on geometries. And if you're interested, you can also see the underlying query uh, being done when you, when you choose to do one of these algorithms or analysis. So I will go ahead and I will filter on the geometry, and I will use return shapes within a specified distance of another. I will name the new analyze layer to uh, power lines at risk, for example. I will filter my, my network and I will use the weather data as a filter. And then I can put in, for example, 10 kilometers. This means that all uh, segments of the network that is uh, within ten, 10 kilometers of these forecasted strong winds will be selected. So I will see, so it worked. And it did. So we now have identified the parts of our network that can be, uh, be in danger of these strong winds and we could go further by analyzing uh, also how many customers then would be at risk of outages. So this is just a short example to show you how you can use these functions and if you want to use this and, and connect it to SQL uh, you can actually take advantage of the fact that when you do an, uh, when you do an operation in Oracle Spatial Studio there is a view created in the database level. So if I go to my data tab I can see we, that we have our uh, new analyzed layer and I can click properties. 
and then I can actually see this the query that have been generated by this operation that we did. So we can see which columns, uh, which table that it was done on, the, the power lines, and also uh, the operation, the spatial operation that was done. So I can take and copy this and head into SQL Developer, connect to my database, and then run this. And I will end up selecting these segments that were at risk. So for those of you that have SQL knowledge, you can now take advantage of this because you have generated the query that is needed and then you can easily change, for example, the data. Maybe you want to switch it to uh, row data or you want to change the parameters quickly. I want to select all the power lines within one kilometers uh, of, of these measured uh, forecasts and then you will get the result uh, immediately. So that's how you can use Oracle Spatial Studio and how you can use it in conjunction with SQL Developer. So thanks for watching.